Thanks for tuning in to our Community Views series organized by the Memory and Aging Community Advisory Board and the Johns Hopkins Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. In this series, our goal is to highlight important issues related to healthy aging and conditions that cause memory loss, such as Alzheimer's disease. In order to encourage our communities to take an active role in their health and education on these issues, and to be advocates for improved access to care for persons with memory loss. Today, we're gonna to be talking with Jackie Seth, a member of our Memory and Aging Community Advisory Board on the importance of educating the youth about dementia. Jackie, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So let's jump right in. You're a strong proponent of educating young people, school-age kids, young adults, about Alzheimer's disease. Why? Why is this important? As the population ages, we know that there's going to be an increased number of people affected by Alzheimer's disease. Often the symptoms of dementia aren't recognized until later in the disease stages, and this is especially true in African Americans. By educating, we're improving awareness. By recognizing Alzheimer's is a disease rather than a normal part of aging, kids can help reduce that stigma. And we know that it's better to get a diagnosis of dementia early. Although we don't have a cure, the diagnosis means that patients, their families are able to receive medical evaluations, treatments, and take advantage of the resources and support systems that are available to them. Yeah, you're, you're totally spot on. You know, there is stigma related to this disease um, and to dementia in general. And oftentimes it, it serves as a barrier for getting services and resources. So, so let's dive into what you said a bit more. I think part of what you're saying is that it's important to evolve involve kids in family conversations about dementia. So for example, if a family member receives a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease or another form of dementia, what are the benefits here? Well, kids are intuitive and they see the changes in grandma that are happening and they need to understand why. Um, they may notice other things that other family members might not. I mean, they spend a lot of time with those grandparents or other older family members and they may pick up on those clues that are important that other family members may not recognize. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, kind of related to that, Jackie, you're the founder and president of the Curing Alzheimer's Now Dream Foundation or the Can Dream Foundation. Tell us, what motivated you to start this foundation? I was actually watching an episode of The View and it was during Alzheimer's Awareness Month and they encouraged individuals to host purple parties to honor those who um, passed from the disease. And so I actually hosted this event and what we found in our, uh, at our event is that a lot of people were experiencing the same things that my family and I had experienced. And uh, it was really heartwarming, um, at which point we decided we wanted to do more and we were encouraged to do more fundraising. But we really wanted to have a part in the conversation. So we started to do awareness events and talk to the community, um, specifically African-Americans. And we noticed that there were a lot of organizations doing this and doing this really, really well. But they were missing one point and they weren't talking to the students. They weren't talking to the youth about this specifically, and especially not African-American youth. So you know, related to that gap that you are trying to fill, the Candream Foundation provides community education and learning opportunities targeted largely to school-age children and young adults. And notably, as you said, the foundation focuses on African-Americans and diverse populations. Tell us more about this focus. We know that African-Americans are twice as likely to be diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease and other dementias, but we don't have a clear understanding as why, and we need to understand those disparities. We need more diversity in medical research and caregiving professions. For students, Can Dream raises awareness with these classroom presentations. We provide service learning opportunities and scholarships. We talk to students about being clinicians, neuroscientists, neurologists. We talk to them about being business owners and caregivers and actually making a positive impact on the disease. Absolutely. And you, you couldn't be more spot on about the need for increased diversity in these fields. So what are the, some of Can Dream Foundation's vision and goals? African-Americans have been underrepresented in a number of medical, scientific research, and nursing and other health-related fields. Our hope is to remove the stigma of that disease while helping to educate and increase involvement in our community around it. Our vision is to ignite students' interest in finding solutions that reduce the burden of Alzheimer's disease on society. Therefore, Can Dream's goals are to empower students to be active participants in the Alzheimer's movement, encourage students to be change agents for Alzheimer's in their community, and increase that pipeline of students in STEM careers and other innovative fields that will positively impact Alzheimer's disease. I love it. It's such a fantastic vision and set of goals. It's amazing. Um, so if you had to leave your audience with one takeaway message or call to action, if you will, what would it be? 
Can Dream believes that raising awareness and involvement in the African American community around Alzheimer's disease will help remove the stigma of the disease, encourage utilization of available resources, improve the health and quality of life of people overall. And there are no better champions for this than our youth. And we can do it. That's right. No better. I, you're right. The youth, that's our next generation. Exactly. Jackie, thanks for taking the time to speak with me today. For so many reasons, I think your message is critically important for improving Alzheimer's awareness and for improving diversity in careers that impact individuals living with Alzheimer's disease and other types of dementia. We hope those listening will agree. Thank you for having me. Tell us one more time, what's your foundation's website, please? Sure, it's www.candream.org. And for more information about the Memory and Aging Community Advisory Board, you can visit baltimoremacab.org. Or for more information about the Johns Hopkins Alzheimer's Disease Research Center, visit allsresearch.org or follow us on social media at Johns Hopkins Memory and Aging. Thank you for your attention.